Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Harakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of great millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere Shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you, I say Shalom. How will you prepare for the MOTB? All right, and, and you know those that know, those that are to see, know clearly know what the MOTB is. All right, how will you prepare? All right, is there any, is there a blueprint? Is there a, a a checklist you have to go to or prepare for the the MOTB? No. All right, the only way to prepare is to get your faith right with your how about you shot. All right, build up your faith, show your works by your faith. But the carnal man out there, all right, our people, when you tell them of this technology. And the things that are to come, everything's going digital, everything's going cashless, all right? In this article right here, Amazon uh, will soon let you pay for groceries with your palm at any Whole Foods, but tech experts urge caution. So they're going to, you know, eventually this this technology, all right, it's already set up for this technology. Everything is set up where you just, you know, swipe your phone or your card. That's all set up for that device to be in you. All right, so they don't have to swap out registers and shit like that, okay? And this is nothing more than a, this Amazon Palm shit. is nothing more but a prelude to that MOTB. It's coming, all right? And it's nothing you can do about it but pray to your Habashim Yahushai, repent, and, and get your faith right, and, and, and you know, and you know, because that time is coming, that hour of temptation is coming, okay? This is when you're going to have to step out on faith, all right? L you know, literally, and, and put your trust and faith in your Lord. And a lot of our people that that um you know say they love the Lord, you know, say they believe, we're gonna see your faith is gonna be put to the test in that day, in that hour of temptation. Because it's gonna come up on amongst everybody. All right. No one's exempt from this hour of temptation. All right, the Lord is gonna try the word that the scripture says, the, the whole world. Okay? So, you know, Israelite, it really is a test for you Israelites. All right, because salvation is for Israel only. All right, so so you know the Israelites are really the only ones that can pass the test because it could be Edomites that don't take the MOTB. It could be you know these other heathen nations that don't take it, but that don't mean they're they're going to receive salvation. They're still going into slavery. They're still going uh, going to be uh, judged in a, a thermonuclear fire or you know a, 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 one of these many judgments that's going to come upon the earth. Okay, but how are you prepared? All right, and like I said, you got to think the carnal man out there is thinking well. I'm going to, um, you know, uh, 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 I'm going to just um, live off the grid or I'm going to, you know, hoard up guns and, you know, defend myself. That doesn't work. All right. All these all these carnal ways that our people have tried to defend themselves against this man, this devil Esau in their system is it, not going to work because everything that everything in this society is going to be attached to that M.A.R.K. All right. So let me get into some scriptures, because a lot of our people, you know, when this technology comes forth, you know, they're not going to be with it right away. But deep down, they still believe in Babylon. They still believe in Egypt. They still believe in this dollar. All right, because you're going to have a lot of jakes out there that, that you know, whether they're on some type of government assistance, they're receiving money. Uh, um, you know, they got this, eventually they're going to have this UBI rolling out. And that's universal basic income. And all these things are going to be attached to that device. All right, your job. Everything that you possess in this world, you're going to have to leave and let go, all right? Because it's going to be attached to this device. And if you don't, hey, you're going to receive a judgment for that. There's a recompense for that, all right? For that 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 the ultimate disobedience to the Heavenly Father. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 35 and 6. Um, it reads, Lo, thou trust in the staff of the broken reed on Egypt, whereupon if a man lean." It will grow go into his hand and pierce pierce it. So is Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to all that trust in him. And that 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 broken staff, all right, that that broken staff that reed is going to pierce two thirds of our people, two thirds of our people through because they believe and continue to believe on this system. Okay, they believe in this money system. They believe in the U.S. dollar. All right, they believe in this economy. Okay, they and and, and ultimately they believe this ain't the end. They don't see an end. They, they we, but the, the 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 prophets, the true believers of the Yahweh Shem Yahushai, we see an end. All right. There's of course there's an end to Esau's kingdom. All right. The, the scriptures even say it. Um, 
second uh Ezra six and um seven. It reads, um, then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times, and what shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, from when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of a world, end of the world, meaning an age. All right, ions is the Greek word for it, an age. All right, this is the, the age of Esau, his, the time of his rulership. All right, but the average Jake out there think this is this is how life is supposed to be. This is the end all be all. You know, I got to do this and make a get a career and this shit is not going to last. All right, just like many of the, 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 the so-called great kingdoms prior to this one, they all fail. All right, even the even the ones Jake was ruling. All right, because uh, we were we were still uh, um, we were still uh, uh, um, we were still under we we weren't perfect because we were still under that first covenant. All right, but when the the rulership of Jacob begins, it says, "And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth." We're going to be perfect because that's the rulership that begins in the kingdom of heaven, where we'll have those law, statutes, and commandments written in our inward parts. Okay. So a Esau's kingdom has an end and this MOTB, all right, this technology is a part of that end. All right. Cause once that, once that's made mandatory, we're at the door, we're at, we're, <laughs> we just waiting on the missiles. We just waiting on the, uh, 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 you know, the, 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 the world war three and there, and every, and all these other prophecies that pop off. Okay. But the MOTB is, 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 is the second most important prophecy next to world war three. All right. That's how important this is. All right. And, and it's no, it's, like I said, there's no handbook on how to prepare for this. Like I said, the average nigga out there is going to go, hey, you know, I got to go get a nine. I got to go get an AR and, and an AK. That's not going to save you. OK, that's not going to save you from this devil coming down upon you. And King David was a, the, one, one of the greatest warriors uh, uh, ever. All right. But he didn't. He, he says right here, uh, I, uh, Psalms 44 and six, I will not trust in my bow, neither will my sword save me. All right, hey, the, the King David knew that the the the, uh, the carnal things, weapons and shit, that that's not going to save him. Okay, what's going to save you is your faith and your trust in Yahweh Bashimam Shai. Okay, the knowledge and wisdom that the Lord gives you and instills in you, and that faith that He's going to make everything all right, whether you have to perish, whether you die from uh, 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 for not taking it, the Lord still got us. All right, hey, that, that that's a you know if you get if you if you become a martyr for not taking the MOTB. You know, hey, you just did you just did that brother or sister a favor because hey, they they're written in the book of life. Okay? They're gonna be on those chariots. All right? But it's it's gonna be a hey, it it's gonna be hard during that time. It's gonna be is that's why I call it the hour of temptation. All right, which is gonna try the whole world. Everyone's gonna be tempted one way or another. Okay, whether it's uh, uh um not necessarily you, it could be your family, it could be your wife, it could be your children, all right, well, who who Esau's um threatening to harm okay but hey you got to put your faith you got to put your faith uh uh uh, uh you know in, in the in the heavenly father okay and it's easy to have faith when shit ain't going on you got running water you got lights you still got a job you know you don't got no eviction notice and you know everything is somewhat okay i don't even say okay but everything is you know status quo if i you know you know i'll say that okay but when shit gets bad that's when you that's when you're you're going to have to have that faith and everyone don't have the same level of faith. Okay. But you know, you that's when you had to pray to the heavenly father to, to build you up, to give you these, uh, these trials and tribulations to build your faith. Okay. So when this hour of temptation comes, you don't waver. All right. You, you, you're not, you're not, you, you're not wishy-washy. You're not thinking, well, no, you, your mind is fully set that, Hey, I'm not taking this and I don't care what they do or what they try to do to me or what they say they're going to do to me. I'm going to put my trust in the Lord. All right. And, and that's a hard thing for for for, you know, a lot of our people. All right. Because they have they, they say they have faith, but they 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 don't display it. All right. And, and, and they, they really don't have faith because a lot of their faith hasn't been tested. This is Hebrews 11 and one. Now, faith, faith is a substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. A lot of our people have become accustomed to believing in things that they see that 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 are tangible. Or, or, you know, what I mean, that that, you know, oh, OK, I believe now. All right. But um, as it says, um, what is that, Mark? Um, and then Yahweh was talking to uh, 
Thomas. Damn, where was I think I think it's Mark. Um uh, maybe it's his. Yeah, here it is. Um, this is Yahweh Shai speaking, John 20 and 29. Yahweh Shai said unto them, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen me and yet have believed. Okay? Hey, we don't need to see Yahweh Shai. We don't need to see the Most High. Okay? We don't need to see the angels to believe. All right? Some people may need to see those things. May, some Jakes out there may need to see a miracle for them to believe. Okay, but the true believers ain't going to need that, all right? And, and, and not saying that, you know, it's going to be those that come in in the 11th hour that believe, but, hey, the, 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 the elect, you know, hey, you, you, that's, how, that's, how you, that's how your faith got to be in that day, all right? Where, you know, hey, you know, hey, the, the angels are surrounding, are surrounding me. The angels are protecting me, all right? The Lord said I was going to eat in this day. The Lord said I would have abundance. The Lord said all these things in the scriptures and I believe on these scriptures, you know, thus save the Bible, thus save the Lord. Okay. Um, let me see. Um, and you know, the average Jake out there think they got a little bit of money and that's going to save them. All right. Your, your money is going to be worthless. Your money is really worthless now. It's, and it's becoming, it's the, 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 the U.S. dollar is being devalued every day. Okay. And, and, and you know, that's one thing Jake don't realize. Your, your guns. Carnal things, your money, that won't save you. That won't prepare you for what's to come. Okay? Girding up yourself with faith. That's what's going to prepare you. This knowledge and wisdom of this truth. The names of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Those are the those are the instruments to 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 to, to guard you and you know and keep you from that hour of temptation. Okay? Um, let me see. Um oh, I had to hear I read Hebrews. Uh let me read Hebrews um uh, I read Hebrews 11 and 1 again, and I'm going to jump down to uh, verse 6. Now, faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Like I was just going into having faith where, you know, you don't have to see, okay? It says, uh, verse 6, you don't have to see things to believe them, excuse me. Verse 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he that comes to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder, a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right, so if you have faith in that day, don't you think in that hour of temptation, don't you think the Lord is going to reward you? Okay, the Lord said it right here. I'm going to get it. Um, uh, Revelations 3 and 10. Uh, is this it? Let me see. Yep, yep, yep. 10 and 11. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world and try them that dwell upon the earth. That's all the world. The hour of temptation is going to come. As it says in Revelation, the 13th chapter and the uh, 16th, 15th, 16th verse, um, he calls it, he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor. That's the whole world. OK, to receive a M-A-R-K in their right hand. All right. Um, back to this verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast had that no man take thy crown. Um, damn, where is that one scripture? Uh, oh, actually, it's in two. Uh, Revelations 2 and 10 and 11. Oh, yeah, yeah, 10. Uh, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you in prison, and ye, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay, that, that's the reward, the crown of life. All right, the kingdom of heaven, salvation. Okay, that that's why you gird up your faith. That's why you, you know, uh, um, you, you, um, you call upon the names, okay? You 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 study, all right. You 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 try, you know, you repent. You try your your hardest every day to, to get right with the Lord and continue to repent and do His work and do His will and follow His law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. That's how you prepare for the MOTB, all right. Girding up money, the scriptures say, "Riches profit not in the day of wrath." All right, what, what, what do you think? Uh, you know, one of these rich celebrity niggas, uh, what, what are they gonna do in that day? Okay, when when this when this technology is the only way. 
you know, for them to uh, to to keep and um, have their their money. They're going to take it, okay? Because they 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 have something in this world that they want to keep. This is um, Proverbs eleven and four: Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. Okay, that's what's going to deliver you from death: your righteousness, your good deeds, your faith. All right, your works. Okay, those those are the ingredients. Those are the uh, that's the that's the uh, the tools you need to 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 get past this hour of temptation. This is um Second Ezra chapter nine and verse seven, and everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye believed. The works and the faith go hand in hand. Okay, you can't have one without the other. All right, um as it says in James, show me thy works by thy uh, uh, show me thy faith by thy works. All right. Um, let's see. Um, oh, let me grab this. Yep, 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 yep. One of my favorite scripts, Isaiah um, 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. That's what's going to keep you stable. The knowledge and wisdom, that's what's going to prepare you for the MOTB. Nothing else, okay? You know, and, and you could tell Jake, you tell Jake about this, you know, the MOTB's coming and they're not looking to the Lord. they look looking to the carnal things. they look looking how they can yikwab the system. Everything that you own, everything that you, that, that's attached to you, all right, your job, your money, your, your, your pension, your 401k, whatever you have, your money in the bank, your, um, your, your, all your email, everything that you have is going to be attached to that M-A-R-K, all right, in, 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 in your social credit score, everything, all right, so if you don't take it, you're going to be cut off from the system, and a lot of Jakes, they, they're not going to be able to handle that, because Esau is conditioning them, and has been conditioning them to, to accept and like, not as, yeah, accept and um and um what's the word uh it, 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 it esau's been conditioning them to to accept and and use all these you know resources around them and and and, and you know get them used to this this way of life all right therefore you know when the time comes they're not going to be able to separate separate from it okay but that that our temptation is coming motb is coming it's here all right so you know hey you better prepare yourself in, in, in a spiritual way, all right. Now, not not no carnal way, hoarding up. You know, uh, it's things that you can, uh, you know, you can get gold and silver, but that ain't gonna save you, okay. You know, maybe to help you barter, but eventually, you know, hey, that everyone's gonna be faced with that choice, okay. So these carnal things, guns, weapons, that's not gonna save you. Hoarding up money, uh, uh, uh you know, let me, uh, I'm gonna grow my own food and all that shit, living off the grid. That's not gonna help you. That's not gonna save you, okay. What what is going to save you? Like I said, like I've been going over over and over in this in this lesson, faith, knowledge, wisdom. All right, the names of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay, that that that's what's going to keep you in, in 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 um from that you know to keep you in to resist that hour of temptation. All right, that MOTB. Okay, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakodash, Shalom.